um, Rafa was a very cheerful infant, no? Especially at two months old nga, I can still remember, no? She, he or he smiles, no? Socially and would follow us with his gaze, no? So, um, at five months old, no? He would start, he started to bubble. So, sabi ko nga, masyadong maaga kasi usually six, seven months ang bubbling pero siya, five months, nagbabubble na siya. So, sabi ko, oh, baka walang problema. Okay? So, at nine months old, he started to ano to respond to his name. So whenever I call him, Rafa, look at me, Rafa, smile. Mag- she's gonna look at me, no, titingin siya sa akin, and then magsa-smile. Tapos kukunin yung mga yan, mga cookies, no, para kahit pa paano, kakain talaga din siya. Okay? So everything was seemingly well no, until mga one year old. And then, I just started noticing no, at 16 months, no, he's not responding anymore. So, the mother in me told my husband about it. But then he said, baka busy lang maglaro. So, okay. So, baka nga naman busy lang. So, weeks passed and I realized I haven't heard a single word from Rafa. Wala pa ako naririnig ng mommy, daddy. Hindi talaga siya nagsasalita. No? So, again, I told her, I told my husband, no? Wala, um, hindi pa siya nagsasalita. Sabi kong ganun. Ano ba sa tingin mo? So, dahil pediatrician din po siya, no? So, Sabi niya sa akin, wala pang two years old. Baka napapraning ka lang, no? Hintayin mo na natin. Tignan lang natin after two years old. So, again, the mother instinct won against my pedia instinct. Ang turning point po sa akin, no? Nung na, na, nasabihin na talagang baka may problema nga, was when my dad, who was an internist, so, sipin niyo po, internist po siya, na cardiologist siya. He suddenly talked to me and told me, Si Rafa, pag tinatawag, hindi lumilingon, ha? Parang walang eye contact. Napapansin nyo ba yun? Ba't hindi nyo napapansin, pediatrician kayo? So, that hit me hard. Okay? So, it took me how many months to finally give in to my pedia instinct na baka nga may problem. Yes, siguro, that was my denial stage. Every time kasi, no, they were asking me, did you have an, a, a denial stage? Bakit parang tanggap na tanggap ko na daw? So, I think during those times, those were my denial stage. And I was, and I keep telling myself during that time na, no, this can't happen. So I am a pediatrician. Siguro naman hindi ako magkakaroon ng anak na may special needs, no? But um, siguro, all mothers naman are entitled to go, to go through that stage. But eventually, no, you need to accept and focus on what you can do to help your child. So I told my husband during that time, kung ayaw mo pa siyang ipacheck, Ako, dadalhin ko na siya sa dev page for assessment. So right there and then, I convinced him. We sought consult to a developmental pediatrician. And since Rafa at that time wasn't two years old yet, no, he was just um, said to be having language delay. But the consideration of having um, autism no, or being in the spectrum is very high. So hearing those words broke me. It shattered my world, no? Sino ba namang nanay ang hindi kahit sino naman siguro? Sabihin na yung anak mo, malaki ang posibilidad na may autism. I was devastated. But then again, siguro dahil at the back of my mind, I was expecting it already. So kaya, when we were told about it, okay, so I just said to myself, I will not allow that statement to define my child's development. I don't want that statement to be a hurdle for Rafa's growth. So sabi ko agad, what can we do? So our dev beats then advised us to undergo therapy right away kasi wala nga namang mawawala. No? So we did. I can still remember no, Rafa's first month of occupational therapy. It was literally, literally a crying hour. He was crying the whole time, standing in one corner. Raf teacher couldn't introduce himself. He couldn't establish any connection with him. And these days became weeks and then it became a month. It was a month of pure stress, not just for my Rafa, but for all of us, therapists included. It even came to a point where the, te- where the teacher or the therapist told me that he might endorse Rafa to another therapist to whom Rafa can establish a connection with. And I understand, because we were all getting frustrated already. Because the teacher couldn't continue what he was supposed to do. Because he was lang siya ng iyak. But lo and behold, exactly a month of crying, Rafa, upon entering their therapy room, sat down and played with teacher. It was pure bliss. And what better day it was 
because that way that they happen to be his second birthday. So sobrang tuwa ko. Nagpapansik talaga ako sa buong therapy center. Lahat binigyan ko, therapist, lahat ng mga ate doon, lahat sila may pansit. Dahil sa sobrang tuwa. So during this time, no, Rafa is having twice a week of occupational therapy. And we can see dramatic improvement. He can now follow simple commands. He can be he he became more focused on his play and work. So on the next follow up with his dev beats, speech therapy was added. Since then, our home became a mini therapy center. The kids' play room was transformed into Rafa's own sensory room. We bought exercise balls, trampolines, puzzles, therapies, and all OT toys and materials that we deem fit for him. So everything seems okay. So ito may routine siya. He goes to therapy every day. No, even his cousin who is an occupational therapist help in his sessions already. So parang okay na, sabi ko okay. But then a new problem ar arose. Kailangan niya ng special education. He's not getting any younger. So we were confronted with the dilemma of where to enroll Rafa. Knowing his special needs, he definitely needed a special school who will cater to his needs. At first, we enrolled him in a preschool just for socialization. Knowing he can't keep up with his classmates, we were contented that he could join the school program and play with his classmates. But when he graduated preschool, I was expecting more. Ito na naman ang problema. Saang school maganda ipasok si Rafa? We were looking for schools that can cater to kids with special needs those who have inclusion program because we believe Rafa's, Rafa's, Rafa needs kids who are not in the spectrum for him to learn how to communicate so he can imitate them. And it was a struggle because only limited schools of, offers such. Luckily, we found a school where Rafa not only learned a lot but also had friends. So as you can see here, yan, nagpipi sila niyan and Nagulat na lang kami because he was following or he was um yeah he has friends so he was following teacher he is uh, um being happy with his friend so natuwa naman kami because of uh this school type of ano nagkaroon siya ng improvement pa din so knowing that school wouldn't be enough we augmented it also with other therapies and other activities so that he is preoccupied with a lot of things Si Rafa kasi is not the idle type. He wants action and medyo full of energy. So we enrolled him to art therapy where he enjoyed so much. And because he loves water, we also enrolled him now to aqua therapy. So, we can, so that he can um, uh, consume all the energy that he has. So as you can see, yeah, nag nag aqua therapy siya, nag swimming siya with teacher. So who's also an occupational therapist, no? So aside from that, we also let him bike, no? We also let him bike at home. Yan, tinuro, ay sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, tinuroan namin siyang mag-bike para sa bahay. Nakakapag-bike siya. Ayan, siya mag-bike siya. So, kulang na lang, tuturoan ko na rin siyang mag-run uh, mag para isasali ko na lang sa bahay. She's, she's very good at physical activity. Okay. So also, aside from that, no, we let him experience a lot of things. No? So we let him do things that he wants so that he can experience them. Because we believe that it is through these experiences that they can learn. So we go on trip so that he can, uh, he can see the world, he can experience the world, no? na hindi lang siya nakakonfine sa bahay. So we wanted him, we wanted to show him that there is a, a life outside the therapy centers. So, but you know, families of kids with special needs also comes to a point you know, where they feel exhausted, not just physically and financially. Kasi I for one, kahit doktor na ako, I can feel the ache in our pockets because therapies don't come cheap. Schools that offer assistance to them don't do as well. And what more, kung ang child mo needs other medications. No? So in a year, with all these therapies and medications, 
siguro pwede na akong makapag-around the world or pwede na nakailang Hermes bag na ako, nakailang Gucci bag na ako. Sobrang nakakadrain, no? But at the end of the day, no? So I don't look at it as a waste of money because it's not. Sabi nga nila, parents give all the best for their children. And I know all this will help Rafa when he grows old. Kaya okay na yon, sabi ko nga. Para kay Rafa, lahat gagawin ko. Para kay Rafa, lahat ibibigay namin. Okay? So, physical and financial exhaustion is just the icing on the cake or the tip of the iceberg. But emotional exhaustion is the real thing. We live in a society where having a kid with special needs is a taboo. People are, people are not aware of how these kids act or react to a certain situation. Kaya they judge not just the kids but the parents as well. And it's so frustrating that people, although becoming more aware of what autism is, they are not yet ready to accept these kids. There have been a lot of times where we can see stares coming from other people whenever Rafa throws, throws tantrums in malls or restaurants or whenever he becomes a little more excited in church. There was even one time in church where an old lady came up to me and asked us to leave the room or to leave the church because Rafa was getting a bit agitated. Siyempre, maingay, then naiinip na siya. Wala siyang magawa, kaya nagwawala siya. Ayaw nga niya ng idle moments. So at that time, when, he, when she told me to leave, I wanted to scream at her and tell her to back off. Pero siyempre, mas nakakaintindi tayo, kaya I just politely said sorry and walked away. As we were going out of the church, I keep on saying sorry to Rafa. I wanted to say sorry to him because other people still can't see him as who he is and how good his heart, his heart is, how pure his soul is. All they see is someone who is silly and maybe a bit crazy because alam nyo naman, pag may autism, masayahin silang tao. So he would laugh loudly all by himself. It's so hard to let others know who Rafa really is and what he is capable to do. Because people don't understand and accept how these kids are. There was another time where again, an old lady came up to me and asked me how old Rafa was. I was hoping and praying that she would say, napakaswerte ng bata at napakapogi. But boy, was I wrong. What she said pierced my heart. Ang sabi niya, kawawa naman siya. Sabi niya, uh, kawawa siya kasi kulang-kulang siya. Ang gwapo pa man din niya. So what she said pierced my heart. So ano kayang, what did I do wrong? Anong ginawa ko? Bakit siya naging kawawa? Kaya tinanong ko, bakit? Bakit po siya kawawa? Kasi nga, kulang-kulang, kawawa naman. So nagpantiganteng ako and I snapped at her, forgetting how old she is. I told her, hindi po siya kawawa, maswerte siya. At ako mas maswerte dahil ako ang nanay niya. And then I walked away from her. So experiencing these things always makes me bargain with God na sana kung dumating man yung time na mauna ako and Rafa will be left behind, there will be someone who will love him as much as we or as much as I love him. I know it's not my other kid's responsibility to take care of Rafa in the future, but I keep telling my other boys as early as now that when the time comes for them to get married, they will always be a package deal. They should tell their soon-to-be wife that wherever they are, Rafa should be with them and that they should take care of their brother because nobody will love their brother more than them and that they are all that Rafa has. And if the wife cannot accept them, accept them I, I am begging them. I beg, I am begging and I will beg them to pick their brother because every chance, sorry, Every chance I get, no, I always remind them that family should stick together and that they should always be together. Para lang silang three musketeers. No? So it has been my fervent prayer to God na sana pag matanda na kami, kahit pa paano, ready na si Rafa. Ready na siya to accept or ready na siya na makipagsabayan no? with, with the world. Na sana with all this preparation that he is going through now, I hope he becomes resilient later on na kahit pa paano, he will not be that of a burden to his brothers or to his family. Hindi na ako umaasa na makapag-college siya, makapagtapos siya ng pag-aaral. More so, hindi na rin ako umaasa na makapag-asawa siya. Ang gusto ko lang, he will be able to live life comfortably as how he is now. 
So to fight these frustrations and exhaustions, it is better to have a team of experts who will help you in every way. And I am very lucky to have met a team that will not only help me on Rafa's everyday activities, but genuinely, genuinely cares for him as well. The best advice I can give everyone here, no, dito sa Facebook Live at saka sa Zoom meeting na to, is to find yourself the best teachers your child, your kid should, your, your, your best teachers for your kid. Those who will not just look at your son or daughter as someone who gives them professional fees, but someone who will sincerely care for them and love them as well. These people in the picture, I give them all the credit on what Rafa is capable to do now. They patiently taught and reinforce everything to him. And with that, I am very and I'm truly grateful. No words or actions can ever show my appreciation to all of them. No? So aside from having teachers, you should also find the best developmental pediatrician who can guide you and your child every step of the way. And I am also very lucky and happy to have these three developmental pediatricians on board. No? They are very approachable and they will help you with all the things that you need to know. No? So find yourself them, find yourself support system. And also, aside from this, find yourself the best ate. We don't call ate yaya because I'm not very particular with the word yaya. Ayoko po yung yaya na yun. He is, she is ate and she is part of the family. Okay? So find yourself the best ate for your kid. Because Rafa's ate is even more anxious every end of the school year. No, kailangan may award ang alaga. Pag walang award, magagalit yan sa school. She needs to be present in every school presentation. Kailangan well-documented lahat. Kailangan may picture lahat. Every angle, every every galaw, kailangan may picture niya. She makes sure na hindi nalalamangan ang alaga niya. At kung anong meron ang kapatid, dapat mas maganda ang kay Rafa. Ganun niya kamahal si Rafa. So find yourself someone who will not only look at him as someone na kailangan kong alagaan, but who will care for him and love him as their own. No? Minsan nga napapaisip na ako kung sino sa amin dalawa ang totoong nanay, siya ba o ako. No? So you should also count on your family and friends for the support that you need. In times when you feel that the world don't understand a single thing about having a kid with special needs, they will help. No? Knowing I have them in rearing my Rafa makes me more confident that Rafa can make it through. Stick with them to help your sani and to make you home so that you can continue taking care of your child. Because this journey is still long, but the learnings will help not only your child, but you as well as a parent. Thank you and good evening to everyone. I hope I have shed uh, a few um, uh, knowledge no, or uh, sharing po sa inyo about our journey, kahit pa paano po nakatulong at nakapagbigay ako ng hope in having a kid with special needs. Kasi hindi naman po puro hirap no mas madami pa rin at mas kung nag-uumapaw pa rin ang ganda at ang saya na meron isang anak na merong may special needs. Hindi man siya makapagsalita ng maayos pero nakakaramdam at nakakapagbigay-ligaya din naman po siya sa, sa bawat pamilya. Maraming salamat at magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Thank you Dr. Chin for that very very touching story. Um, Napapaluha po kami dito sa behind the camera. Uh, I was reading the comments. Ang dami niyo pinaiyak, Dr. Chin. And they've been congratulating you. Um, thank you. Thank you po. Touch their hearts. And they're sending you group hug. Group hug na tayong lahat. Group hug. Yung muna sa Facebook. Group hug tayo. Maraming salamat po. Kaya din po natin lahat yan. Kung kaya namin, kaya niyo din po yan. So kailangan lang po tulungan sa bawat ano um bawat tao ba bawat taong makakasama at makakasalimuha ng ng bata. So hindi lang tayo pati yung mga therapists pati po yung buong pamilya natin at yung mga kaibigan po natin lahat yun. Makakayanan po natin siya. Dr. Chen binigyan mo ng um parang strength yung mga parents na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Uh, malaking bagay yon talaga. Ang galing. Salamat, salamat po. Salamat po.
Para sa mga bata po, para sa mga tao o mga batang may special needs, gagawin natin lahat para kahit pa paano hindi sila naiiwan. Kasi it has been one of my, uh, actually, I'm a, 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 tama si Dr. Poy, sila Dr. Cage, si Dr. Kat, I'm an advocate for autism awareness. no So, ang motto ko po is no kid should be left behind. Okay, so kailangan lahat po tayo, lahat ng bata, regardless kung ano ang kanilang mental status, lahat sila dapat umaakyat kasama natin sa pag-unlad. Hindi lang sila dapat naiiwan. Yun po. Salamat po. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for letting me share no, our experience. It's an, an ongoing experience. Hindi po dito nagtatapos ang aming, aming journey. Mahaba pa po ang aming journey and I hope kahit pa paano nakapagbigay po kami ng uh, inspiration no, sa, sa lahat po ng nakikinig dito sa, sa ating um, munting salo-salo at munting ano, pagkikita po. Salamat po. Thank you, Dr. Chin. Definitely, you're definitely an inspiration. Yes, maraming salamat, Dr. Chin, for sharing your journey to us no, and to everyone else. All right? And uh, naisa-isa po ninyo no? yung, yung, kung ano yung talagang pinagdadaanan okay, ng isang pamilya kapag may isang miyembro na nagkaroon ng neurodevelopmental condition. So maraming maraming salamat. Uh, there's, there's a beautiful statement by Ms. Ethel on the chat box. Our journey, all of our journey is a beautiful beautiful path to take. Totoo nga naman. Okay, so let's open the floor for more of your thoughts. Hindi naman po kailangan question and answer ito. You can share your thoughts on the chat box. You can share your questions. But we already had questions ahead. Go ahead, Dr. Kat. And Doc, mayroon nga tayong questions. Medyo marami yung questions about school or 